So I'll just take you through the progression. Our left tackle and left guard are trying to make that read so that that runner has no choice. Is everybody with me there? I'm going to make him cut behind that five because that five technique did not pinch down. Okay, and our center's going to reach the shade, and we're going to cut the back door. That right guard did not cut, and I promise you, he got chatted with very quickly off that backside. Now, always keep it right here. I would blast. But if you'll see the wide guy on the outside over there, he did hang a hair, and that created the running lane that I'm trying to make happen, okay? And as I said, I got to get all these guys all these years, and if we got to slow down, we can. These are all run strong. You can see the left tackle and the left guard. I don't like the technique the left tackles use. That fat ass needs to get his feet moving better than that. But the right guard did a great job of making the runner read behind the nose. His read was to the end, to the nose. The, 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 the quarterback is holding the weak safety. If you'll see that weak safety back there, he is afraid to leave because of the element of keeper. Now, this was a one-back set. But because it was a strong zone, it didn't matter to us. You see, the teaching is the same teaching, and it doesn't really matter uh, how it happens. I'm not really interested in anything but just the teaching of the backside systems. Again, the right tackle, I think that's shitty. That just makes me sick and want to throw up. The right guard got in deep. The left guard forced the runner to run where he wanted, and I don't like the runner's pause. Okay, now this is MVP in the league. And I promise you, when he came off that field, I ripped his nuts. Because he cannot wait that long to make that cut. I can't block him long enough for that to happen. Now, when we run it into a reduction side, a lot of times stunts like that occur. We have all kind of concepts that we're teaching. And I know a lot of you would say, well, you can't just fall into that. Well, you don't. You've got to work at that. But that system is devised, it's out of a two tight end element. We didn't get great cut by the backside tight end. The runner had a bounce read because his read told him, go out. That's one of the few times that the ball will actually do that in the system. The right guard's going to force it out. The left guard should cut. He did not cut. I guarantee he got ripped. The left tackle didn't have an angle to cut. It, it is no mystery what's happening back here to the back side of the defense. Now, he chose to go out because his read told him to. Had his read told him inside, the big play here would have been downhill. But you have to live with that world. If you've told him his read is the end man on the line of scrimmage, he clearly goes out. If his read w w were to jump out, then you would expect him back here where these three chops are. Uh, he bounced it to the top. Because that's what his read was. And you've got to live with those. You've got to say to yourself, well, now, wait a minute. What is the best way for this to function? The cut on the back door by the fullback, the cut by the tight end, the guard should have cut right there. The left guard made the read go where the read ought to go. Now that's what happens when linebackers plug. The end is clearly inside of our tackle, so the runner should take the ball to the top. He should run off the tight end, just like he did. Now we back here don't know that. We're still trying to cut it right tackle. We're trying to cut it right guard, and the keeper is faking keeper out the quarterback out the back edge. Now his read said, 92 said, uh, Reggie White jumped out. Uh, Gilbert Brown jumped out. The backside cutters are cut down, and he runs down the pipe. Now, to me, that, that's football play right there. I, of all the ones I've seen, I like that the best because it's consistent. I mean, everything there is a clean four, five, six, four, five, six. Let it happen. You know, then go to the, go to the passing game. Run it off of what you believe in the passing game. The right guard, we don't cut a tight shade because they smell us, and that's why you're not seeing a cut on the back door here. The tight end should have. The tackle notice went all the way up to the next level player, which I'm sure you're teaching too. The tackle's angle here was bad at right. Center didn't work double combination here because of something was taught that week. There's a softness there. I don't like it left guard. I don't like feet coming back like that for the runner.
Now here's the beauty of the cuts, and, and this is the classic, you know, when they get cut back door, and everybody says that's the Denver cutback. Now look where that cutback occurs, because you see the tight end's a yard inside this hash mark when he makes that cut. He's four yards outside that hash mark. That cut is not as drastic as you think it is. It, it's, it's the element of the defense that's creating it. I don't like the stutter that this runner took. I also don't like the fact that my right guard got stuffed back in the backfield. But that's a part of the world of one cut, live with it. Ball going left, wide combination, the ball should bounce. The ball going right should never bounce. Ball going left should bounce. The ball going right should bounce as well. Three worked out. He worked in. Cuts on the back door created the running lane. This was before the rule was changed, and both those tackles today would be fine because their body momentum actually cut the back of the legs. That's clipping now. It was not then. We've gotten much better at this than we were at this point. That's a wide receiver down in the briar patch down in there because that's our system. He's going to be down in there now. We don't block corners. We block safeties. We make corners tackle. And they're as shitty a tacklers in our league as they are in yours. That read says go out. That's as clean as a bell to me. Now, a lot of these on film are Terrell Davis, who was our player a couple years ago. Um, we've had two very fine ones the last two years. Not as good as him, but very good. Again, you see those backside combinations. That's, that's where we think the whole thing's created. That ball bounced, but his read outside told him that guy's inside of the defensive tight end. He's got to bounce that to the edge. I'm ready. <laughs> 